The first season of Fruits Basket ended with tremendous growth for everyone's favorite tsunade, Kyosoma. His growth was so powerful and moving that fans everywhere would come to think that it really overshadowed Yuki Soma. Many may not even realize how much Yuki has really grown over the course of the series. Some may even go as far as say that he hasn't changed much at all. That is where I come in, my dear current slash future subscriber. I want to show you how far our prince has actually come as a character. For those of you unaware, somehow, Fruits Basket Season 2 has been airing the past few weeks. Each episode is a roller coaster of emotion, ranging from episodes that tear your heart out to just light hearted depression. Throughout this emotional journey, I didn't realize how much Yuki has grown. Until the fourth episode. While Yuki still has a ways to go, I truly believe that he has made leaps and bounds from where he was in the first season. With the help of people like Todu and Hatsuharu, Yuki is able to slowly but surely break this heart and shell he has built around his heart. He was this person that was unable to interact with basically anyone or leave his comfort zone. But as of right now, he is someone that is constantly trying to move forward. He's interacting with others. He's trying to leave his comfort zone. I feel like this subtle but great step forward should be celebrated and highlighted. So please join me so I can show you how Yuki Soma is slowly but surely beating his demons. Yuki Soma suffers from a myriad of things like low self-esteem, self-isolation, and rejection. While these are all topics that warrant their own video, I specifically want to discuss the topic of anxiety that affects Yuki daily. He suffers from two different issues that relate to anxiety. The first of the two being stranger anxiety. This problem makes it extremely hard for anyone to really get close to Yuki in general. We see this time and time again throughout the series when anyone other than Yuki's small circle tries to approach and befriend him. The second being an anxiety disorder called agoraphobia. This is a fear of places or situations because they incite a feeling of panic, helplessness, or embarrassment. While this specifically wasn't stated in the anime, I believe Yuki suffers from this phobia. There is a ton of evidence that supports this, but I'll save that for later. These two anxiety disorders really plague Yuki constantly throughout the story, preventing him from breaking his shell of emotions. While these two issues are very easy to spot in the series when they are plaguing Yuki, what is difficult to see is when he is slowly but surely breaking them. Let me show you what I mean. We'll start with Yuki's Stranger Anxiety. Stranger Anxiety is the distress that someone experiences when exposed to unfamiliar people. This can cause someone to feel isolated and alone very easily. In Yuki's case, it does exactly that. When exposed to people outside of his inner circle, he puts on this false prince facade because he feels as if his true thoughts and feelings are too much for others to handle. He puts up this barrier between him and his peers trapping himself inside. Yuki does want friends of his own, but he is just convinced that no one would like his real self. I think one scene that really helps showcase this is way back in the first episode of season 1. We see Todu and the rest of the gang playing a casual game of rich man poor man. As the gang is playing around having fun and bonding, we see Yuki walk up to the door. His hand reaches for the handle and he looks through the glass. Yet, he is unable to open the door and longingly looks at Kyo easily getting along with others of his class. Instead of entering, he eventually leaves. This scene is a metaphor for how Yuki really feels trapped and isolated all because of his stranger anxiety. He is trapped behind this door that is seemingly impossibly hard to open. His hand is on the handle and all he has to do is push, but he can't. His own anxiety is holding him back. The worst part of it all is that because Kyo doesn't struggle from this as badly, he degrades himself. He asks the question, what is wrong with me? Why can Kyo do it, but I can't? This toxic mindset further drives him deeper into this hole of anxiety. Don't feel too bad for our prince yet because things have changed. Let's jump a bit to episode 4 of season 2. We have almost the same exact situation that we faced earlier. Kyo and the others are inside, laughing and conversing having fun when Yuki makes it to the door yet again. He looks through the window but doesn't shy away this time. He is able to break that mental barrier and step inside. He has let more people into his inner circle. He may not have been able to open the door immediately, but he was able to take time and prepare himself. He was able to take this step forward. If you think this wasn't enough proof, then let me give you another. In the very first episode of Season 2, we see Yuki venturing past his comfort zone by taking up the position of Student Council President. He knew in doing this, he would have to work with people and get to know them. This would be tackling his stranger anxiety head on. He knew this, yet he persevered and did it anyway. 
In doing this, he has been introduced to Manabe and Machi. While they do seem, um, a little bit odd, Yugi doesn't back down. This is another great example of how Yugi has grown a bit from his former self. He still holds the title of Prince in school, but slowly it is fading as he isn't Prince Yuki anymore. Just Yuki. I am so proud to see him conquer this demon because he's been struggling for years since leaving the Soma estate. But that's not the only demon conquered so far. Earlier I mentioned that Yuki struggles from another social anxiety disorder called agoraphobia. This phobia is the fear of places or situations because they incite the feeling of panic, helplessness, or embarrassment. We see this in Yuki as he is so afraid of visiting the Soma estate ever since he left it. Throughout the whole first season, he has never ever ventured there. The main reason he doesn't want to go is that this is where Akito's Soma lies, the catalyst for all of Yuki's mental issues. Any situation that involves Akito causes Yuki to go into a mode of panic. A great example is when Akito visited his school. When Yuki found out, the mere thought of running into them caused his eyes to go dark. It isn't until Todu runs into Akito that Yuki must intervene. I'll never ever forget that look Akito was able to instill into Yuki mere seconds after their confrontation. All the feelings of helplessness and panic swelled in his eyes. It was a painful sight and experience for Yuki. You would think that Yuki would never ever return to the Soma estate unless he was forced otherwise. This phobia held a tight grip over Yuki's heart. But what if I told you he was able to take a few steps towards breaking it? I'm telling you, episode 4 was really big for Yuki. We get a scene of Yuki visiting the Soma estate because he felt that Hatsuharu needed him. As he draws near, his phobia sets in as his steps slow, his heart aches, and he is hardly able to breathe. We stop right at the gate's entrance looking deeply into the Soma estate. I want to just highlight how amazing I think this one shot is. We see a divide drawn right down the middle with the gate here. On one side stands Yuki, his sunny colored world where he left the Soma estate. The other is the darkened wood that represents the captivity that Yuki felt when he lived there. This barrier is represented in this divide on the screen. It's a gorgeous representation of his mind. When I was watching this, I was absolutely speechless. After some time, Yuki is able to muster his feelings and step forward wandering into the estate. This moment was all around so powerful for Yuki. This shows how he is trying to break this shell that surrounds his heart. He is trying to break his phobia bit by bit. He is trying to grow as a person, not only for his sake, but for the others around him. I felt like this scene really showed how powerful Yuki has become. He has grown so much from the kid that couldn't take any steps towards beating his demons. Now he is taking steps towards overcoming them. They may be small, but they are steps nonetheless. As you can see, Yuki is a much stronger, braver person than he ever was in the first season. And episode 4 of season 2 really highlighted that for me. After seeing his growth as a person, I had to make this video celebrating and highlighting his newfound success and strength. He still has a long ways to go before he'll beat all of his demons, but with this new mindset and power behind him, I'm sure he's going to be able to do it. Yuki, I'm proud of you. I really can't wait to see you succeed. I know you will. If you enjoyed this video, fruits, basket content, or heck, even anime related content, then I highly recommend you subscribe in this corner or down below. It would mean the world to me if you joined my ever-growing little community. But if not, I hope you enjoyed your stay. You're amazing. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I know lately I've seemed like a Kyo fanboy because I make all these videos about him, but I have to stress that I do love Kyo and Yuki evenly. I've just had strokes of genius writing about Kyo lately. I don't know. But after episode 4 of season 2, I knew I had to make a video about Yuki. I just knew it. He has come so far and I love him so, so much. I just want him to open up and be happy. Gosh. But with that, I really don't have much else to say. Thank you for watching all the way to the very end end. Like, you are my rock star. Thank you so much. But anyways, I'm Breathy. Signing off for now. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Johnny, I'll hit you with one of these. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Oh my god, I totally forgot to shout this out. So here's a sneak peek for you guys that's stuck all the way to the end. We have a video coming up about Fiverr and our girl Toru that is really exciting. So stick around for that. And we also have a giveaway coming up for 3,000 subscribers. So look forward to that. Okay, bye for real now. <laughs>